We have a few announcements that we'll make briefly this morning. Youth service will be tonight, and it'll be held right here at the church instead of over at the youth center. It will be here tonight, and I believe the youth service starts at 6 p.m. So be sure to come tonight. If you're coming to church, be here at 6 o'clock tonight. Also, we have revival starting tomorrow night. Sister Linda Baltman, each night, come be with us, 7.30, starting on Monday night through Friday night. We'd love to have you. Uh, we'll be having a prayer breakfast devotional at Kay's Cafe the last Saturday of this month, the 30th at 9 o'clock. Also, we have scheduled a quarterly business meeting April the 8th. 7.30 at the Youth Center on Monday night, April the 8th at the Youth Center on Monday night. Our camp meeting, always annual camp meeting each year, this year April 25th through the 28th. And Brother Teague and my son-in-law will be preaching each night, alternating each night. Also, um, we'll have day services starting on Friday. And we'd like for you to come and be with us during our day services as well. If you're coming during the day service, Friday, Saturday, if you're here at the day service, when we dismiss service that afternoon, they'll be waiting on us at Fuller's. You'll, your meal will be paid for if you come worship with us during the day service, Friday, Saturday. You can go eat with us at Fuller's. Normally, we pack it out. So we'd like for you to be a part of that with us this year. Amen. Anybody got a question about the announcements this morning? All of y'all looking mighty good this morning. Good to have everybody with us. Praise the Lord. Let's give all of our visitors a hand clap. Amen. We're going to go on into our worship service at this time. A lot for our singers. Come on to the choir.
Question We try to sing page 300. There's a blessed time that's coming, coming your neighbor's hand this morning. Tell him my Jesus is coming with all power and great glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my brother, are you ready for the call? If you're sitting in the house of God this morning, you're not ready to meet Jesus. This is a getting ready place. Can you say amen? 
1 Kings chapter number 18, if you'll read with us this morning. We like to say once again, it's so good to be in the Lord's house. Praise God. I've been, been really needing a touch of the Lord in my body since Wednesday night. And uh, I've been really, seemed like just weak, weak. But I feel better this morning. I feel strength and I thank God for it. I think I might have just overworked myself and didn't drink enough, and I got dehydrated, amen. But I'm telling you this morning, praise God, I'm going to praise the Lord and give him glory. Amen. I'm feeling as well as I am today, amen. <laughs> praise the Lord. First Kings chapter number 18, if you'd like to read with us this morning, I'm reading to us out of verses number 21. We'll read here for a little ways this morning. This is Elijah, and he is challenging the people in these verses of Scripture. It says, And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. If Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. Then Elijah said unto the people, I... Even I only remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. Let them therefore give us two bullocks, and let them choose one bullock for themselves, and cut it in pieces, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. And I will dress the other bullock, and lay it on wood, and put no fire under. And when you call on the name of your gods, and I will call on the name of the Lord and the God that answereth by fire. Let him be God. And all the people answered and said, It is well spoken. Elijah said unto the prophets of Baal, Choose you one bullock for yourself and dress it, for ye are many, and call on the name of your gods and put no fire under. And they took the bullock which was given them, and they dressed it and called on the name of Baal from morning even until noon, saying, O Baal, hear us. But there was no voice nor any that answered. They leaped upon the altar which was made, and it came to pass at noon that Elijah, amen, mocked them and said, Cry loud. For he is a God, either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or pre-adventure he sleepeth, and must be awakened. And they cried aloud, and kept themselves after the manner uh, with knives and lessons, till the blood gushed out upon them. And it came to pass, when midday was past, that they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that there was, there was neither voice, nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down, and Elijah took twelve stones according to the number of the tribes of the sons of Jacob, unto whom the word of the Lord came, saying, Israel shall be thy name. And with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord. And he made a trench about the altar, and as great as would contain two measures of seed. And he put the wood in order and cut the bullocks in pieces and laid him on the wood, and said, Fill four barrels with water, pour it on the burnt sacrifice, and on the wood. And he said, uh, Do it the second time. And they did it the second time. And he said, Do it the third time. And they did it the third time. And the water ran round about the altar, and he filled the trench also with water. And it came to pass... At the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Jacob, let it be known this day that thou art God in Israel, and that I am thy servant, and that I have done all these things at thy word. Hear me, O God, hear me, Lord, 
that this people may know that thou art the Lord God, that thou hast turned their heart back again. Then the fire of the Lord fell, consumed the burnt sacrifice, the wood and the stones and the dust, and licked up the water which was in the trench. And when all the people saw it, they fell on their faces and they said, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Can you look at somebody today and say them very words? The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Amen. Can we praise him this morning? Hallelujah. Father, we love you. We praise you. We honor you today, Lord. Thank God for you, are God. Beside you, there is no other. We ask your blessings right now, Lord, that you would touch us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. You might be seated this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. According to the U.S. Department of Treasury, there are currently right now Seven seventy million dollars on the market today that is determined that are counterfeit. Seventy million dollars on today's market, U.S. Treasury says is counterfeit money. Counterfeit money when it is detected by the stores can end up causing you some big trouble. It's very important that you're not carrying around something that is counterfeit in your pocket. That's the reason why when you go to the store they have a special marker most places now. They can mark a mark on the money and it will determine whether that is counterfeit. U.S. Department of Treasury is saying that it is a great problem that they're dealing with right here in America, counterfeit money. But what I'd like to tell us this morning, praise God, spiritual counterfeiting is something that I feel this morning is the most dangerous thing that could ever happen in a, in a church or in the world. Amen. It is detrimental, praise God, to the church and to the kingdom of God when we think about spiritual counterfeiting. Amen. It is it's not something that is new to the church. I believe we can say from the very beginning in the day of Adam, praise God, the Bible tells us concerning that old serpent the Bible said he was more subtle than any beast of the field. Work, look that word subtle up. Praise God. And it, it is conniving. Praise God. It is counterfeit. Praise the Lord. It has been since the very beginning of time. He come, amen, to Eve according to the scripture. Hallelujah. He did not present himself as the devil. Praise God, but he presented himself as one that knew. And he said, praise God, has not God told you, amen, that you cannot eat of this, amen, this tree? Praise God, she said, yes, for the day that we eat of it, we'll die. And he said, thou shalt not surely die. He said, God knows that the day that you eat of it, your eyes will be opened. And you will become as gods, knowing good from evil. Praise the Lord. And that old, amen, that old lying serpent had enough convincing about himself that he convinced Adam to believe, or Eve to believe, amen, that he was telling the truth. Praise God. The Bible teaches us that she took heed to that lying devil. Praise God, not only did she partake, but the Bible said she gave also unto her husband, and he did eat too. And at that point, 
Amen. We find, praise God, sin entered into the world. Praise God. That place that was such a peaceful, wonderful place, even called the Garden of Eden. There was no sin there. There was no thistles. There was no thorns. It was a perfect, amen, place of tranquility. Praise God. But now sin has come into that place. Praise God because of a lying, amen, deceptive devil. Praise God that convinced them, brother, that God was wrong and that they could partake of something that God said you cannot have part of. Hallelujah. Amen. I've read to you this morning about a time when a prophet of God, amen, was facing a time in his life. Amen, the Bible teaches us, amen, that amen, Elijah had came to this place, hallelujah, and they were worshipers of Baal, a false god. But I want to tell you, they were so convinced that Baal was right that the Bible teaches us, amen, that they come, amen, and they begin to call upon Baal from the morning right on until noontime even on until the evening sacrifice. And the Bible said they cried aloud. Praise God. And the Bible said they cut themselves after the manner with knives and with laces until the blood gushed out upon them, calling upon, amen, a dead God, calling upon, amen, a counterfeit God. Amen, old brother Elijah knew who the real God was. I wonder today how persuaded that you are that God, he is God. I wonder this morning, amen, how much our mind is made up that beside him there is no other. My friend, we are in the last of the last days. And the Bible said that the devil has transformed himself, amen, into an angel of light. And he said that he would deceive whole nations. And the Bible said he would even deceive the very elect if it were possible. Hallelujah. I'm telling you this morning, amen, we are in an hour today where there's the Bible said there will be many that will come in my name saying I am he praise God there will be many amen that will come but there will be false prophets they will be counterfeit brother amen the Bible said they would be so real amen that they would have power amen to be able to call down fire amen from heaven but I'm here to preach to somebody this morning you better know the difference amen between the real and the genuine and that that is counterfeit brother Smith I'm saved hallelujah that's wonderful amen but there's a reason why you need to be sanctified amen brother that's wonderful there's a reason why you need to be filled amen with the baptism of the Holy Ghost for the Bible said brother when the spirit of truth has come which is the Holy Ghost he will lead us and he will guide us into what? All truths. Amen. That Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. He'll take us in the right direction and lead us in the right direction. I've never seen such a time in my life. Amen. Where people are becoming deceived in this hour. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, Elijah looks at them and he, the Bible teaches me, amen, that Elijah mocked them and cried aloud. He said, amen, he may be talking or pursuing or he is on a journey. Pre-adventure he sleepeth and he must be awakened. Hallelujah. Oh, Elijah knew all that they were doing, cutting themselves. Praise God till the gush, the blood gushed out upon them. Elijah knew, amen, they were calling on a false God. 
But he said, I want you to do the same thing that you just done for your God called Baal. I want you to go ahead, amen, dress up the bullock, lay him on the altar. Praise God. He said, but we're going to go a little step further than what you've done. How many knows water normally puts out fire? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Elijah said, I want you to go get a barrel full of water. Amen. I want you just to pour it all on the sacrifice. Soak it real good with water. We're fixing to put the real God to the test. They went and got that barrel of water. They poured it. He said, go do it the second time. They went and got that barrel full of water, poured it out on Praise God. He said, go do it the third time. Got that water. And the Bible said the trenches that they had dug about, hallelujah, was filled, amen, with water all about. Thank God. And Elijah, about the evening time of that sacrifice, praise God, he began to pray. And he said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob. He said, I want you to prove this day to this people, amen, that you are God. And I want you to prove to them that I am your servant today. Praise God. And he began to cry out to God. Amen, just a little, amen, sister, sister Hunt, just a little short prayer. Can I compare, amen, Elijah's prayer, amen, to these folks that was praying to Baal? They had been praying to Baal from the morning, amen, to the noonday, amen, not only to the noonday, but they continued to pray until the evening sacrifice. No answer, amen, nothing came from their God Baal, amen, but a little short prayer, amen, by a man that had a real God. God. Oh, hallelujah. It didn't take long. He had to get a hold of his attention. And the Bible said the fire of God, he had fell from heaven and consumed the sacrifice. Oh, hallelujah. The real God st stood up. The real God, he had set the fire and consumed the sacrifice. Hallelujah. That's right, Brother Cooper. That, that fire was so real, it licked up the water. But I read a little bit further. Praise God, Brother Eric. Most fireplaces are built out of stone. But the Bible said this fire was so real and so hot. Thank God that it licked up the water. It burned up the dust. Amen. And the Bible said it consumed the stones. Oh my God, what a fire, praise God, to consume the rocks and the stones. Hallelujah, amen, brother, that day, amen, God left no room for anybody to doubt that he was God. Hallelujah, and those bell worshipers, amen, they went jumping around. Praise God, they said, the Lord, he is God, the Lord, he is God. Their eyes was open that day. Thank God that he was the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. They realized he was the real God. Hallelujah. In this hour, God help me preach here this morning. In this hour, when it seems that scales, amen, is forming over people's eyes. Hallelujah. And they're listening to everything that comes along. And they're believing things. Hallelujah. We need God. Amen. To send the real fire. Amen. To open up the eyes of the blind. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just don't get in with everything that comes along. Some people, praise God, they might fault me. Amen. Praise God because. If I don't feel, amen, the spirit of God, hallelujah, amen, I don't move in everything. Come on, church. Come on, Brother Andrew, preach, preach, preach. One man got up and run the pews one night, Brother Matt, 
fell and broke three ribs. And my daddy went to him, and you'd have to know my daddy, he was kind of like Elijah when he mocked. God help us. Amen. He said, son, did the Lord tell you to do that? He said, no. He said, but the devil told me not to. Daddy said, yes, sir, and if you keep on listening to him, he'll break your neck after a while. Praise God. You better know the real voice of God. I don't move with everything that's coming along in our day. Hallelujah. Never would have thought that I'd have had to worry about homosexuals getting up in the pulpit of the churches today. Come on, church. Amen. Sissified men. Amen. Getting up in the pulpit preaching to the congregations of our day. Hallelujah. Somebody said, Brother Smith, you are not to say nothing about them. Just leave them alone. Hallelujah. I'm surprised at the pastors and the preachers that's so blind that they cannot see. Amen, brother. Their spirit, thank God, has become callous to the place. They cannot detect, amen, the counterfeit, amen, from the real spirit of Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank God somebody better win. Wake up. Somebody better stir themselves and see, brother. Hallelujah. Everything that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, is not going to enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. But they that do the will of my Father. Hallelujah. Amen. Elijah was a prophet of God. Elijah preached it just like God told him to preach it. Amen. Jeremiah preached it just like God told him to preach it. Amen. These prophets of God were the despised. Amen. Some of them were sown asunder. Amen. Brother, they were left for dead. Thank God that they preached the unadulterated holy word of God. Hallelujah. And the fire of God burned. It burned out all the shaft. It burned out all the impurities. And it left holy and sanctified living. Hallelujah. When God gets through with us, brother, he'll burn up all of the sin in our lives. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, we're in a time today where everything's being accepted. Hallelujah. Nobody don't want you to preach it, but it's the truth. Thank God. They preached it to me ever since I've been a little old boy. Hallelujah. You can't have a wife and a sweetheart at the same time. Come on. Hallelujah. I mean, amen, even the Baptist folks, amen, the Methodist folks. I talked with some of the Baptist preachers just recently, amen, in the Burnt Swamp Association. They told me, said, we will license them. We won't ordain them. Amen, if they've got two living wives. I said, praise God, you're standing up for something. Hallelujah. Bible said, let the, amen, the bishop be blameless. The husband of what? One wife, hallelujah. Thank God, amen, we're seeing things today. Amen, brother, because thank God my little Johnny or my little Susie, amen, gets tied up in these things. We feel like we can make allowance for them. Praise God, help me, Holy Ghost. Amen, and the real fire of God that used to burn in the house of God. Amen, brother, I read in the book of, Jer in the book of Revelation, the Bible said the Spirit of God Amen. Walked among the candlesticks. Those seven candlesticks represented the seven churches of Asia. Amen. As he walked among them. Amen. He said and he looked. Amen. He said he looked at every one of them. And he gave them a message. Amen. He said, Laodicea. He said, I see thy works. He said, I see that thou art neither cold nor hot. He said, I would. Amen. That you were cold or hot he said but thou art lukewarm he said brother I'll spew you out of my mouth hallelujah he looked on and he saw the church of Sardis and he said Sardis he said I look among you and I see some and he said they have on white robes they have on white garments
Corinth. He said, there are those, even in Sardis, who have not defiled their garments. He said, they are worthy. They've been to walk with me in white. Hallelujah. They've kept themselves unspotted from the world. Thank God they're still white. They're still genuine. They're still holy before God. Hallelujah. 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 I don't want a counterfeit. Glory to God. I've been facing some challenges just recently. Just like Elijah did. As they were facing this group of people. 450 prophets of Baal. They said Baal is the right one. But Elijah had to put the real God to the challenge and to the test. I am seeing today spirits like I have never saw in my life. I'm seeing young women that are addicted to prescription drugs. I looked at one not too many years ago. I thought she was the most beautiful woman. And I seen her just the other day. And I said, my God, what has happened to that woman? Found out, brother, prescription drugs has took her to the bottom. And I've seen some of your family. Hallelujah. I've seen them come right in the doors of this church. And I've seen what sin is doing in their lives. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Some of them old preachers back yonder 40, 50 years ago, they didn't have any idea what cocaine and what heroin and what dog food and what all these spirits that's got a hold of people in this house. They didn't have no idea what that was back then. Hallelujah. But I just believe in my heart the same God, amen, that met the challenges of their day. Whatever it was. I remember when I was just a boy, just a young boy going to school. Amen. They had these shirts that would say, no fear. Amen. But in that day, amen, they had a slogan for drugs. Amen. Anybody remember what the slogan was? Just say no. Amen. That's what they were teaching us in the schoolhouse. Just say no. Amen. But I want to tell you, just say no. Is it working? Hallelujah. Thank God there's got to be a greater power. Hallelujah. Thank God. And in this challenging moment of time that you and I are dealing with today, we do not need to settle for just a little goose bump. We don't need to settle. Amen. For just, amen, a little shouting down the aisle. Thank God. But we need the power of God. Thank God to see those that are possessed. Amen. With prescription devils, uh, those that are possessed, uh, amen, with the world and the, amen, the things that the devil has overcome their life with. We need the genuine power of God, amen, to see them delivered, amen. I believe tonight, uh, thank God that God uh, is still that same God. Uh, I ask you to say that with me this morning. God, uh, he is God, hallelujah. Thank God he's bigger than heroin. Amen. He's bigger, hallelujah. Amen. Than Percocet. He's bigger, amen. Than dog food. He's bigger than that homosexual lifestyle. My God is a deliverer. He can set you free this morning. Whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm fighting battles like I've never fought before. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, I got to listen to some, and I guess I may end up this morning having some that might not like what I'm fixing to say, but it's all right. I'm just going to say this with the kindness as, as, as I can and loving as I can. Hallelujah. Praise God. I, uh, I've been seeing things and hearing things about, amen, some of the, Amen, people, it's other churches around. Hallelujah. And uh, thank God, 
I raised my children in holiness. I raised them in holiness. And I was hoping and praying, brother, that they would, I was praying and hoping it gets settled in their heart. Praise God. Amen. This crowd now, you can go to church, live kind of any kind of way you want to. Amen. They're pulling on my children, and they're pulling on your children. I said, they're pulling on my children. Amen. Come play your music in our church. Amen. Come to our church. They don't know it. Amen. My children don't know it. Amen. Those worldly places don't know it. But I'm bombarding heaven. And I'm praying with all of my heart. And I'm asking God, God, don't you let my child, amen, be deceived, amen, by this deluded, this delusion that's come across this church world today. Amen, come home, daddy. Amen, there was four saved at our church this morning. And I hear it all over the place. There's five saved at this church this morning. Amen, sometimes I pray, I say, God, amen, I'd like to see that kind of, amen, people get saved in our churches. Amen. But this is what I feel like the Spirit spoke back to me. Amen. They're offering them, amen, an easy religion. Praise God. Just come walk down this aisle. Say you got saved. Amen. You can still dress the same way you always dress. You can still go to the same places you always went to. Amen. Just say you got saved. Amen. I heard somebody say this here not long ago. Amen. Said salvation, praise God, should not be a fad. I go along with it. Hey, Amen, brother. There's a lot of churches in our day today. Praise God. We got so many saved. I want to know, did they really get genuinely saved? Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen, brother. Did they turn around? Yeah. Did they lay the world down at the altar? Yeah. Hey, Amen, brother. Did they give up yeah. and really let Jesus take over in their life? Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm talking about a real salvation, brother. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Don't go down. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Just turn over a new leaf or shake the preacher's hand. It won't get you too far down the road. But if you get washed in that crimson blood of Jesus, he cleanses you, brother. You'll get up from there a brand new creature. The old things will pass away. And behold, all things will become new. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Brother, Elijah could have just went over there and patted him on the back. Well, at least you're calling on God. Hallelujah. At least you're, amen, you're praying. No, sir. Brother Elijah didn't do that. He said, I don't want you to have false hope. Church, we're coming down to where the rubber meets the road. I feel the Holy Ghost. Counterfeit ain't going to work. You better have something that will pull you out. Something, brother, that will lift you through. Hallelujah. Thank God, thank God. I'm telling you in all that I can get. I feel like sometimes uh, all, brother, that I can muster up. Uh, I'm just barely got enough. Uh, amen. To make it through. If the righteous, amen, scarcely be saved. Uh, hear me this morning. There ain't no room. Uh, amen, brother, for these shallow water. There ain't no room to be playing around the edge. Uh, thank God you're either in or you're out. Hallelujah. Uh, you either got it or you don't got it. Hallelujah. Help me right now. Amen. I'd rather go ahead and admit I ain't got it. And get down in this altar and pray till I know. Thank God I got the real. Amen. Salvation. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. I'd rather go ahead and admit it. They said that pastor's wife had lived holiness all her life. They said you couldn't tell her any different from anybody else in the church. She was the pastor's wife. But it said the pastor's wife got deathly sick. She was pressing her head on a dying pillow. She broke down and called all the church in. She went to weeping. She said, I know what I'm fixing to tell y'all. She said, it's going to shock you. She said, 
All these years, y'all thought I was saved. All these years, I looked like a Christian. She was broke down and cried. She said, but I wasn't saved. She said, I'm fixing to die, and I don't want to die this way. She said, will y'all please come and gather around me and pray. Hallelujah. Oh, I want to know without a doubt that I'm saved. Hallelujah. 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 I don't go on how high you jumped and how fast you run the aisle. Glory to God. I want to tell you, brother, that saint of God that's really been washed in the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Brother, let me tell you, they'll be the same every time you see them. Thank God forever when they're going through the storm, they'll still love Jesus. Thank God they'll be faithful. They'll love him, amen, like Brother Job did. He said, though he slay me, yet will I trust him. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. A real salvation. Glory to God. I'm coming to a close right here. Hallelujah. Amen. Said that, that preacher, praise God, before he got saved, wasn't nothing but a drunk. Hallelujah. Said he'd come home drinking every night and his daddy had to get up out of the bed. Mama tell him, said, get up. Said he's, he's drunk again. Amen. Put him to bed. Hallelujah. Night after night after night. They said, but one night there was a holy roller meeting going on. Hallelujah. He said he heard about it. Thank God. And he said he went down there. Some of them told him, said, don't go down there. Said, they'll sprinkle you with powders. Praise God. They'll put some kind of spell on you. Don't go down there. Hallelujah. But he said he noticed there was people in his community that he knew they were drunks, thieves. Amen. He said, but he noticed they went to that holy roller meeting and something really happened. He said one night, praise God, he got close enough to that holy roller meeting. Praise God, said the Spirit of God just drawed him right on in there. Hallelujah. And he said next thing he knowed, hallelujah, he was down at that altar. Praise God. And he really got saved. Anybody ever heard of Jack Coe? Hallelujah. He said Jack Coe. Amen. He said he was uneducated, didn't have a lot of education, didn't know nothing about being saved. He said, but brother, when he hit the rock and he knowed he got saved, he didn't know how to testify. He didn't know how to say nothing. All he done was jump straight up and down and hollered, hot dog, I got it. Hot dog, I got it. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Said he went stumbling in the house that night. Praise God. Shouting, hot dog, I got it. Amen. He been said mama was laying in the bed and said Jack he been said he's done drunk again you gotta go put him in the bed hallelujah said daddy went and got him he said every time he been daddy would grab me he said one hand would go up hot dog I got it daddy pulled that head down he said the other one would go up hot dog I got it praise God went on in the bed that night thank God shouting and praising God hallelujah the next morning they went to breakfast table Table. Hallelujah. Thank God said when he got to that breakfast table. Thank God he said, Mama, Daddy, they didn't know nothing about God. He said, Before we amen, eat this morning, we got to say our blessings. Thank God, Mama and Daddy bowed their head. Thank God. And old brother Jack got to praying. God, I want to thank you. Hallelujah. Shouting and praising God. He really got saved. Hallelujah. Thank God, thank God. Hallelujah, said after a little while. Amen. Thank God, said Mama. Got to watching Brother Jack. And said, Mama said something. Got a hold of that man. I'm scared to death to go down to that holy roller meeting. Said, but there's something about he's something he's got that I need. She went down to that holy roller meeting. And that same conviction that I asked God for the sport before I ever come to this church I said Lord would you flood this church 
Amen. With the Holy Ghost conviction this morning. Let conviction fall on somebody today. Amen. That mother got a hold of God. She went down to that altar. Amen. And she didn't know how to pray. All she said was, I want what Jack's got. I want what Jack's got. And that same merciful loving God poured out that good salvation. And she got saved. Hallelujah. Lord of God, Lord of God, they went to the supermarket that next morning and walked down by the meat counter. Hallelujah. And they looked across that, that red meat with that blood. Hallelujah. Jack said, Mama, said, you know what I think about when I see all that? Said, that precious blood of Jesus that washed our sin. Said, they went to shout. Hallelujah. Said the meat market man come out, swung the door open, and leaned over on the meat counter. Big old tears got to falling out of his eyes. He said, I want to ask y'all a question. They said, what? Said, have you been down to that holy roller meeting? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Said just a couple of days went by. Hey, man, that meat counter man was down by that altar. And he got a real salvation. Oh, Lamb of God. You don't have to have a counterfeit. I'm telling you, when God sends it from glory, it'll be real, my friend. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you can live in such a sinful world just like we're living right now. You can live in this world. Thank God you can live here with salvation. You can live here with victory. You can live here with joy in your heart. Amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm glad for this real salvation. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Don't settle for anything less. And I just want to go ahead and tell you, praise God, I've had some folks that come down to the altar and they begin to seek the Lord. Praise God. And I've had some of them, they pray right up to it. Look like they're about to go through. And some of them look at me and they say, Brother Andrew, I'm scared I won't get the real thing. I said, hold it just a minute. If you get it from the Lord, he don't give nothing but the real thing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mama didn't have to tell me I got it. Daddy didn't have to tell me I got it. I knew I got it. When I got the Holy Ghost, brother, they didn't have to rattle me under the chin and tell me to say words so fast that my words got, no, sir, when I got the Holy Ghost, nobody didn't have to tell me. I knew I got it. Hallelujah. The devil's done come too late. To get me to accept some counterfeit. Hallelujah. While we're standing all over this church here this morning. Glory to God. I want to ask you the question today. Hallelujah. Is your God real in your soul this morning? Is what you have burning on the inside of your soul this morning? Is it going to do right down at the last mile of your journey. Hallelujah. Some people may say in their mind, well, Brother Smith, I don't want to be in that altar. Every service people think I don't have nothing. I'm going to be honest with you. I got more respect for somebody that's down here seeking God. The Bible said, make sure your calling and your election is sure. I don't care if you've been saved 50 years shouting the victory. We need to be, sister, we need to be in that altar. Oh, man, my God, I want it right. I don't know what I'm going to face today. I want it right. Hallelujah. And I'll tell you, the Lord will meet with us this morning. Amen. How do you feel? Amen. Do you need to talk it over with the Lord in these altars this morning? They're open for everyone that will come. Amen. Let us find us a place this morning. Hallelujah. Let's talk it over with the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Come on to the altar. Come on. Hallelujah. Worship him, Jesus. 